for it. Bingo. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Ryan here from Flux, and uh, been quiet the past couple days. Kind of a, a really big bummer, uh, you know, with everything being shut down. And last week we heard schools are going to be closed for two weeks uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, where we're at. Flux is a really cool experience center, STEM experience center, uh, located outside of Philadelphia. Uh, and we're, we're a pretty cool spot. We help schools understand uh, the future of learning and, and what experiences should take place in these new 21st century learning environments, which is awesome. So it's a really cool renovated warehouse. Bummer, nobody can come because we're inside Montgomery County uh, and we're all here by ourselves with a bunch of cool gizmos and gadgets and um, a lot of fun things going on, but nobody to experience them. So, I don't know. We have two options. One, do we just uh, you know, sit in the corner and wash our hands every 10 minutes, or do we try to get creative here and a little more innovative on what we can do? So we selected option two. We are still washing our hands, BTW. Anyways, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to virtualize, cyberize, onlineize. We're gonna take some of our cool STEM challenges online. Fluxes, online, Steam, Challenges. <laughs> we know that a lot of you guys are at home uh, trying to figure out what to do. I mean, Frozen 2 is out. It's kind of cool. Big shout out to Disney Plus for making that happen. Fight your brother or sister. Um, you know, you can only play so many video games, but we thought what would be a cool way to kind of promote engage, celebrate making, right? And this idea of kids making and creating at home. So we wanted to formalize that. So on our website, what we're gonna do is we're gonna post one online Steam challenge a day. And there'll be uh, like guidelines or requirements or what you guys are gonna have to do. Real simple, uh, you guys are gonna at home, you're gonna see the challenge, you're going to build and work through the challenge, and then you're going to share the challenge. Uh, and you're going to share it through social media. When you share it through social media and use the right hashtags, we're going to follow it. And an inside team here is going to sit down at night, probably virtually, because we can't hang out with anybody. And uh, we are going to pick some winners. Going to win some cool stuff uh, to start out this first round. There's going to be four winners. Um, with, each is going to get a $25 gift card to Amazon. We will ship it digitally as to not touch it. Um, but we are excited about what that would look like. So for some of these challenges, depends on what the challenge is, depending on, uh, we'll determine what reward, award, prize, whatever you want to call it, you will earn. Please ask an adult, parent, guardian uh, for some supervision, something like that. So parents and educators, cool part. Um, what we're going to try to do with every one of these challenges is have some kind of student guide associated with it. So in this student guide, you can actually print it out or attach it to a cyber lesson. So if you wanna use that online challenge uh, that we're putting together as a way to kind of engage your students at home into a cyber lesson, please do so. Would be awesome and, and really cool to see this grow. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We will post um, the challenges. One last thought and note. Um, what I want you guys to realize is that all of these challenges you can do at home without buying anything. The idea is you find what's around your house and you become resourceful and you make with it. Like red cups. We're going to have a lot of these laying around. It's an uh, empty container from that other side. I didn't do that one. Seriously, a mistake. Like tin foil, pipe cleaners, like plastic utensils. Skewers, different types of tape, rubber bands, Play-Doh, whatever you got laying around. You want to use your Legos, Connects, Lincoln Logs, Tiddlywinks. I don't even know if Tiddlywinks are a thing. Oh, man. Um, a lot of the stuff that we do in here at Flux, we're a big believer in rough prototyping. So this idea that you don't have to have this well-polished product to take it to somebody, but rather just this physical representation of what your concept is and what you're trying to get across. So again, hope you guys are having fun at home. Uh, we wanted to put this together to kind of you know, grab some students and parents out there that are excited about STEAM and STEM 
and uh, I wanted to give them something productive and maybe collectively share what we're doing as one huge big um, STEM, STEAM, makerspace, maker ed, prototyping, whatever you want to call it, fun challenge. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. So reach out if you have any questions. Um, we'd love to see what you guys are making or creating at home. And uh, yeah, do it. Have fun, share what you're working on. You'll see the challenge, log in, work on the challenge, have some fun, win some cool prizes, gift cards to Amazon, STEM kits we're gonna mail home, maybe you will even customize and laser cut wood keychains. I don't know, something cool. We'll think of something. All right? So yeah, log in in the morning, see what the challenge is, any resources associated with it, the tasks that you have to do, Make sure you submit it before midnight that night. We'll check them out in the morning and announce the winner the next day. And uh, we'll have some fun. All right, guys. Talk soon. Good luck. Happy building. Uh, thank you. Good luck and make it. Have fun making and taking. Don't take anything. Have fun. Stop picking on your brother. Wash your hands. Stop picking on your sister. Stop fighting the dog. Have fun. See you.